Hi, I'm Christian Thayer, and for one like, you can make me the happiest guy alive. Monetarily, your like is worthless, but psychologically, your like is everything to me. This video is going to be about social media and in particular social media etiquette. Uh, the reason for this video is strictly... The reason I thought of doing this video um, is honestly strictly because of the election coming up if you haven't been living under a rock. Um, and so I just figured, you know, let's just touch on some social media etiquette just you know go over some stuff because the next couple months could be a little um ridiculous on social as i'm sure you might be aware um so i would suggest well a keeping anything political off of your real estate brand page because that's not the place for it um and then two if you are going to dabble in the political posts, which you do you. I'm not saying not to or you under, okay? Feel me? But obviously that would be done on your personal page, okay? So my suggestion would be to put your personal page on private. So basically only your friends can see what you post. And the only reason for doing that is so that if you meet a new client and they check you out online, as they should, um, they're going to inevitably find your real estate page, which is fine, all fine and dandy. But what they could also do is they could stumble upon your personal page where they could then see all of their posts. Your, they could see all of your posts. And if they don't happen to agree, you see where I'm going with this. So basically, the reason why you, I suggest putting your page on private is that if you are one to post stuff that could not sit well with the with a party that doesn't necessarily agree with that stuff you may or may not lose a client because of that i'm not saying you shouldn't post that stuff i'm just saying be mindful if you want to make sure you are able to work with as many people as possible that's all i'm saying moving on so this is just another thing to keep in mind. You know, it can. I'm not going to tell you how to run your personal page. That's not my job. Um, my job is to kind of help you run your real estate page. That's great. Uh, so obviously, with the real estate game, you're not only going to be posting listings. You're going to be. You're going to have to find content somewhere else. I encourage your page to have its have a tone. Um, ideally, your tone. Just be aware that not everyone views the world the way that you do. And so like humor, for example, humor is not universal. And so if you try to sprinkle in some of that humor, which is all fine and dandy, just be mindful that if it could rub some people the wrong way, is it worth posting? Just a thought, just throwing that one out there. Um, Last but not least, this is just your basic one. Make sure your real estate page looks professional. Make sure that you have a nice cover photo or a banner, whatever the heck those things are called nowadays. Make sure that the profile picture is either of you or your team, um, which is what I prefer. Or if you want, you can go the logo route. That's fine too. Um, I would probably suggest your faces because they're not going to want to work with a logo they're going to want to work with a face so keep that in mind um just some basic stuff just you know the next two months are going to be really interesting on social media and if you come across a post and you're like ah should i post this and you feel like actually think about it should you should you post it and yes this is obviously an interesting topic that doesn't really get a whole lot of light because I'm not sitting here telling you, you can and cannot post this. That's definitely not what I'm saying here. I'm just suggesting that you think before you may or may not post that thing. 
that may rub people the wrong way. And if you do it, sweet, awesome, I don't care. I'm just trying to help you out in the long run. I'm just trying to help you have your social media presence be a presence that allows a lot of people to want to work with you and not alienating 50% of the demographic. That is literally the only reason uh, I'm telling you to be mindful of what you post. With that being said, I don't know how to, I've tried four ways to end this video, so I'm just gonna end it right now. All right, have a good day.